afternoon, everybody. We're going to do a virtual tasting, practicing our social distancing, but not letting us keep us from good whiskey. My name's Dave Sweet, and we're here with Brian, Kevin, and Jerry, our whiskey and beer buddies. We're going to go through and do a tasting of the deconstruction of Balcone. So what Barrel and Bottle is, is an independent bottling. Over the years, I've had the pleasure and the privilege of being able to do barrel selections. We want to bring those barrel selections to consumers. So everything in barrel and bottle is raw, unfiltered, undiluted, right out of the barrel, the same way we get to do those barrel tastings. So our good friends at Balcones, with the help of Jared Hempstead, master distiller, we picked three different barrels. And what makes these interesting is Balcones is a mix of American oak barrels, uh, whiskey aged in Hungarian oak, and whiskey aged French oak barrels. And then because this is our first release, what we did was we deconstructed Balconies. Always wanted to do something different and cool. So barrel and bottle will always be off the beat path, something different, something unique, something that's first time and only time. And then we'll always move on to something different. I'd like to start with the American oak and uh, the lightest of the three. Again, this barrel has been filled four other times before it filled this one. Now, these are all solid strength, so 65% alcohol. And it's uh, not quite what you would expect. So, Ian or Jerry, what are you guys getting out of this, or what are we noticing different on it? Go ahead, Jerry. Jerry is our, our in-house resident beer expert and quite the home brewer himself. And uh, obviously lots of oak on the nose. And then a lot of fruit that's coming out. Remember this barrel has been filled farther. Yep. So it's going to be a little bit lighter. And then right, uh, right. some wheat. Brian, what do you think? Does that taste like 65% alcohol? Um, the initial the initial taste does not, but as it as it finishes, it does get pretty hot. Um, it is a very sweet finish. Uh, it's sweet in the mouth as well. Uh, I got some oranges and pears, a uh, little bit of vanilla, and I, I'd say cinnamon. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I feel the burn on it, like down the throat. I feel a lot of caramel. Yeah, so those real typical uh, bourbon flavors that we're getting from that American oak. And then if we do the Hungarian, which is the next one, again, this is a second fill. A really, really, I'm getting really, really sweet on those. Yeah, I think that one, hands over, I, I really like this one. This one, you, you're getting a lot of the sweetness of the wheat yep. popping out. A absolutely. I, I, I don't know if anyone else, mm. I get this cotton candy out of it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It's the uh, Hungarian, Dave. Yeah. And this one explodes in my mouth. I mean, I feel the hotness. It's, it's, it's got the caramel and the sweetness, maybe even a little black licorice um, on the finish. And it's a long finish. Ooh, now that you say that, yeah. I like the really rich, oily texture to it. Oh, yes. A little bit more of that, that wood influence coming out. And you know, then, this, uh, this is my favorite as well. This is This is really good. So, in, in all fairness, uh, Brian and, Jerry and Kevin have had these before. We're going to jump over to the French, and then we'll come back and we'll add some water into them. The French is a little bit darker. Again, this is a French oak barrel, so it's a French oak. Uh, this is a brand new barrel. Everything is aged uh, about uh, two years and ten months. So... Um, here's eight months. Uh, this is all down in Texas, down in Waco, so it's hot all year round. The wood is incredibly aggressive. 
So uh, any longer, and you almost get too much influence on the wood. So here's a French oak, or as Balcone is nicknamed, the froak. Very floral, very floral, but in a good way. Yes, and that's that's where all that floral influence comes into the, the Balcone. So they make Balcone Texas single malt, they blend all these together. And when we came up with this project a little over a year ago, um, it was chatting with Jared Hempstead at, a, at an event, uh, we talked about how they blend all these together. And I said, well, let's do a single barrels of these. And, uh, Get the, the orange, the orange feel, and the, the, going down the throat, I get the orange, the orange flavor. But a little bit sharper, more tangy orange, almost more like orange peel, or do you get yeah. more like orange fruit? Uh, orange fruit. I wouldn't say peel would be a bit harsher. Um, oh, I guess orange, uh, like slight orange peel. Very much the orange, though. Not as much of the pear in this one. I think I read the pear is a lot more on the, that American oak. See, is anyone getting any kind of smoky uh, smokiness on this one? Yeah, there's, a, yeah, there's a touch smoky. there. Yeah, I think so. Compared to the other two, I think it's got a little smoke, not a lot, but I agree with the floral. Definitely. Yeah. I will say this, if somebody really enjoys a bite to their whiskey, this is a good one. Oh yeah. Yeah, you feel the heat on this one a little bit more for some reason. You do, it builds up. The, the finish builds up at the end. Yeah. yeah. I can still feel it on my tongue. <laughs> Very balanced. This does not taste like a bourbon uh, under three years old. So, and... Uh, uh, Very easy drinking. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, and, and again, there's... We have this new category that's coming. It's American single malt, which these all are. And, and uh, very, very cool. Um, all right, so gentlemen, so me, Jerry, what's your favorite of the three? You know, this 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 French oak, I'd probably have to say, uh, this this French uh, first fill barrel. This is it's 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 smoother. Hungarian would be second, but this 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 actually is really good. Brian, which one do you like? Yeah, I went into this thinking it was going to be Hungarian oak, and I. I have to agree. I, I, I like the French oak now um, mm -hmm. after tasting it a second time. And how about you, Kev? I'm still with the Hungarian, man. I love that rich, oily feel and that warmth that it gives. Not too much of a burn, just a nice balance of the whiskey. I cannot argue with you. So for those of us that have some water, I, let's uh, add a touch of water. And... Uh, See what you think. In the interest of time, let's jump over to the American. Oh, wow. Uh, the water gets in there, breaks apart the alcohol molecules, opens the flavor profiles up. Uh, the wrong way to drink whiskey is the way you don't like it. So those that like it neat, uh, fantastic. Those that like a little bit of water, it only moves the whiskey whiskey along. So, uh, what do you of the American oak with the water? I have to say it changes its complexity 100%. It's amazing. <laughs> I forgot how good that is. <laughs> it was good before. Now it's, now it's really good. It's very smooth. And it's like it all goes away. It's a still is hugely potent whiskey. And, you know, it was 65% little touch of water. It's not far off of that. Oh, my God, is that good. Yeah, you could drink that. You could have two or three glasses of that in a night easily. That would be it. That would be it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, yeah, and then have someone pick you up. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, it's good, though. The American's good. You can get this. It's much stronger. It's It's... It's a, it's a, it's a, I guess a heavier mash. Uh, it's got into that. It's, 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 it's just, a, it's just a more, more of a stronger flavored uh, whiskey. It's good. It's very good. All right, and the Hungarian with the water, moving things. Oh wow! 
Is anyone getting more nose on this with the water? Yes. It definitely became a lot more oilier. Boy, is that good. Yeah. Wow. Do you still get none of that cut and candy now? I got I got caramel and and sweetness on that one with the with the water and the Hegarian. Yeah, the water really opens it up. Yep. Mm. And then with the French, I think I'm not getting any new flavors with the water, but they're all bigger. But my opinion. I want to go back to the uh, Hungarian and say it almost tastes like a toasted barrel now with the water in it. Let's see, I'm going to cheat. Rinse a little bit. No fringes. Now we're going to jump over to the French. Now, I'm really curious to hear your all's opinion on the French because I have a different opinion of this with water, but I definitely, I'm not going to say anything. Go ahead. What do you think, Jerry? This was your favorite. And this is a really easy drinking whiskey. I think it's it's very smooth. It's got all the comp it's got all the flavors, the orange, it's got the wood, it's got the caramel, uh, but it's it's light. It's much lighter. I, I get it. It's a lot lighter on the the nose. Palette to finish. It's just, it's a smooth, smooth whiskey. 